And what I'd like to do is thank Ben and his front office staff. I'd like to thank John and Tom and Larry for giving the blessings to Ben on his decision. I'd like to thank all my friends, my family who have supported me. Uh, many of you people out there who said a kind word or two to allow this day to happen. Because this day uh, is a special day. And it's more than a special day. It's the beginning of a life that I think is going to extend beyond anything that I ever thought of. Uh, the talent, the player, the talent level, and the players that we have in this organization, I think, is, is a gift to anyone. Uh, and I'm a receiver of that gift. So, without any further ado, I think we're going to do this, man. And I really, I really and truly appreciate this opportunity. We're going to open it up now for questions for Ben and Bobby. If you could raise your hand, and once you have a microphone, if you could please state your name and your affiliation. John. Bobby. Um, John, name and affiliation, please. Okay. Johnny Miller, WBG Radio, Boston. Bobby, I'm sure you read or heard about what happened in September with the Red Sox. How important is it to change the clubhouse culture, and what can you do to change it? Well, you know, something happened in September uh, that I wasn't involved in, and I didn't see it firsthand. Uh, and, you know, I think that <clears throat> reputation uh, is something that other people think about you and right now maybe this group of guys uh, have a reputation that's not warranted because everything I've heard about the players that were in the uniform last year and the coaching staff says nothing but they had great character and uh, there might have been a couple characters that kind of got out of line there might have been situations that got spinning too fast I don't know because I wasn't there but I could tell you that I'm looking forward to working with this group and establishing a culture of, of excellence. Joe McDonald, uh, ESPN Boston. Bobby, uh, during your, your days as, a, as an analyst for, for ESPN, sometimes during those games you're, you're critical of some of the players. What's that, how's that dynamic going to be like for you to, to now manage those guys? Well, you know, I I see one of my bosses here, one of my colleagues here from ESPN, and, and as I was giving thanks, I got to give thanks to ESPN for giving me the opportunity to be an analyst. And part of that job as an analyst is to be critical. And uh, I believe that if some people heard what I had to say and took exception with it, I get that. And I'm looking forward to the time when it's not a conversation that they're going to hear from me making a comment on, co on television. Our conversation is going to be one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm looking forward to talking to the players, being with the players, communicating what I think uh, should be done or could be done. And I'm sure they're looking forward to communicating with me to tell me that uh, it's okay to have a, an open stance or to take 20 seconds in between pitches. <laughs> you know, six times during the season is a little different than 18 times during the season. And I know the Yankees uh, always have a team that you, you have to have your best foot forward when you're playing them. I think it's going to be exciting. And uh, what, what I enjoyed most over the last couple of years now at ESPN were those games because the players take them so seriously. And uh, I think we're going to be able to match them and uh, it's not going to be the best team that wins, but the team that plays the best. Dave, over on the left. Uh, Jay Wallenstein, New York Times. Ben, uh, for you, uh, when did you first meet Bobby? Was it during this process? And if so, 
was it was it the, the actual the, the lengthy interview that kind of won you over from him? Uh, met Bobby earlier in November. It was, it was during the first week of November, um, and had a had a couple hour conversation. Uh, talked about the job. Talked about baseball. Talked about managing. Talked about our players. Uh, it was an opportunity to get to know each other a little bit. I was impressed uh, during that conversation, um, and then we we later interviewed him formally uh, with with the rest of the baseball ops team. Uh, he met with ownership, and that was a little bit later uh, in November. Real tough to leave ESPN, and that might sound sarcastic, but I think that if you were to poll the other 29 major league managers and ask them if they'd rather be managing or rather be the host with Carl Ravitch and the analyst on Sunday Night Baseball, I'll guarantee you more than half of them would pick the DSPN job. Okay, I'll guarantee them. Um, what motivates me? Uh, the desire to be excellent. The, the desire to be, do something special every day that I get up. Um, I just want to do something good. And uh, I'm motivated. 